Meghan Markle's fans have reacted with disbelief following news Samantha Markle is suing her half-sister the Duchess of Sussex. Samantha has sparked uproar and incredulity among some fans of the Duchess of Sussex and Twitter users after it emerged she has filed a lawsuit against Meghan, accusing her of defamation. Samantha is claiming Meghan made demonstrably false and malicious statements to a worldwide audience during the Duke and Duchess of Sussex's interview with Oprah Winfrey, aired for the first time in March 2021. Samantha also claimed Meghan published and disseminated false and malicious statements about her in a New York Times best-selling book, Finding Freedom, and in many newspapers and media outlets worldwide. Meghan did not collaborate directly with the authors of the unauthorized biography, Carolyn Durand and Omid Scobie, but authorized her communications secretary Jason Knauf at the time to pass on to them background information. Twitter users were quick to react after news of the lawsuit came to light. And some fans of Meghan appeared to be astonished by it, with one, at Chelsea Beach, saying, will the attacks on this lovely couple ever end? Let them live their lives in peace. Another, at Klausp93, said, I hope Meghan files a countersuit. At Again Weekend, referring to the Sussex's interview with Ms Winfrey, said, did Meghan even mention her? Similarly, another Twitter user, at Golden Rule, wrote, If I recall correctly basically all Meghan said about Sammy is, I don't talk about people I don't know and she was raised as an only child. What is she suing for? One royal watcher and fan of Kate and Prince William, at Sway Olive 64, said, I do not believe she is going to sue and I am not even going to read the article. And another Twitter user, at Yomi Yeyo added, Not today Samantha. Let's finish with Ukraine first. Come on now. Others on the social media platform appeared less critical of Samantha, with one, at Jenny Ja 2010267, saying, if Meghan is happy to sue for what she claims are untruths, why shouldn't Samantha? Another Twitter user, at CanuckAbroad3, said, go Sam. I hope she is successful. And at Countess Common one wrote, this is the plot twist that 2022 needed. Meghan did speak about Samantha during her interview with Ms. Winfrey, but this mention was not included in the two-hour-long primetime special. Rather, a 1.17-minute long clip was shared on the following day by CBS Morning's Twitter account. After mentioning Samantha had written a tell-all book about the Duchess, Ms. Winfrey asked Meghan about her relationship with her half-sister, with which she shares her father Thomas Markle Sr. The Duchess replied, I think it would be very hard to tell all when you don't know me. This is a very different situation than my dad, when I talked about betrayal, betrayal comes from someone you have a relationship with. I don't feel comfortable speaking about people I really don't know but I grew up as an only child, which everyone who grew up around me knows, and I wished I had siblings, I would have loved to have siblings, that's why I am so excited to be pregnant so Archie will have someone. It was really interesting. The last time I saw her must have been at least 18, 19 years ago and before that, 10 years before that. Ms. Winfrey asked Meghan, so you weren't close, you didn't grow up together. She doesn't really know you? Meghan replied, no, she changed her last name back to Markle. I think she was in her early 50s at that time, only when I started dating Harry, so I think that says enough. Samantha, who is 17 years older than Meghan, slammed the Duchess' claims regarding her hours after the clip was released and shared with the press pictures of them together at different stages of their lives, including in 2008, 13 years prior to when the interview was aired. In her lawsuit, Samantha claimed Meghan falsely and maliciously stated that, 1, she was an only child, 2, she last saw the plaintiff at least 18, 19 years ago and before that, 10 years before that, and, 3, plaintiff, Samantha, only changed her surname to Markle in her early 50s when Meghan started dating Prince Harry. Among other claims, the lawsuit filed by Samantha read, The defamatory implication is that plaintiff had no relationship whatsoever with her sister Meghan, they were virtual strangers and that plaintiff has created a lucrative career selling false stories to tabloids and television programs when she knows nothing about defendant's childhood. 
Samantha, author of the autobiography The Diary of Princess Pushy's Sister Part 1, also accused Meghan in her lawsuit to have orchestrated the campaign to defame and destroy her sister's and her father's reputation and credibility in order to preserve and promote the false rags to royalty narrative defendant had fabricated about her life to the royal family and the worldwide media. As an example, she mentioned Meghan's letter to US House Speaker Nancy Pelosi focused on paid parental leave. Samantha is asking damages in excess of $75,000, exclusive of interest, costs and attorney's fees and is a controversy between citizens of different states. Meghan's attorney Michael Kump called the lawsuit absurd. He said in a statement shared with Express.co.uk, This baseless and absurd lawsuit is just a continuation of a pattern of disturbing behavior. We will give it the minimum attention necessary, which is all it deserves. Express.co.uk has contacted a representative of Meghan for further comment.